Well, hi guys, I'm Scott. Thanks for coming along. I am here at uh, a creek. I'll just put it that way because this is where uh, a good spot to go trout fishing. I don't want to give up the location. So they stock this creek and there's trails that go back down through the creek, but I brought my rubber boots so that I could kind of wade through here and do some fishing. I'm using the um, artificial salmon eggs because during this time you can't use live bait. From October the 31st to January 31st, it's catch and release only. So I'm going to see if I can't catch some trout here. We'll release them and we're just out here to have some fun and have something to do. Huh, I got one on these artificial salmon eggs. He's putting up a fight. Pretty nice. See, you can walk through these trails all through here. That's too deep for me to walk through right there. Good little hole, but I ain't getting any bites anymore. So I figured I might try to... I got about right in here and had to turn around because it got too deep on me. Didn't want it to go over my boots and fill them up. Well guys, this is pretty nice. I'm getting to get a hike in and do some fishing. Well, I don't know what this... It's like over there, but it looks like it goes across the creek, comes back, so. All right, haven't been down this way yet. This is new for me too. I am getting thirsty and hungry. So we're gonna stop and see what this sign says. May fish here for a few minutes. Yep, October the 1st through January the 31st. You got to catch and release. Anyway, I wanted to share a Bible verse with you. It comes from Colossians 3 and verses 1 through 3. It says, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affections on things above, not on things of the earth. For ye are dead as your life is hid with Christ in God. The reason I wanted to re read that verse to you is because we look upon the stuff that's here in the earth, all this trouble that's going on and everything else, you know, with this virus and all this. But, you know, we don't, we can still have the peace of God and the joy of God in our hearts and in our minds. And no matter what we're going through, we can claim that because we are hid with Christ in God. Now, a good example of this is in the book of Joshua, uh, chapter 14, in verse 7 through 12. Caleb is coming to Joshua and reminding him that Moses had, uh, it says, 40 years old was I when Moses, the servant of God, sent me from Kadesh, Kadesh Barnea, <laughs> to espy out the land and brought him word again as it were in mine heart. Nevertheless, my brethren that went up with me made the heart of people melt, but I wholly followed the Lord my God. And Moses swore on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance and thy children's forever, because thou hast wholly followed the Lord my God. So see, Joshua saw that he had a promise already from God. So he went ahead and said, I'm claiming it. Down, down it says, now therefore give me this mountain. He's claiming and taking what God promised him that he had. And we can do that with our joy and our peace in our life because we are dead and our life's hid with Christ in God. So I hope that brings you some encouragement today because you know, with all this stuff going on in the world, we need to be setting our affections on high and looking toward Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. The troubles and trials that we go through here are nothing compared to the glory that we're going to share in heaven. So I hope that brings encouragement to your heart today. And we're going to get back out here and start fishing a little more. Just bring you, wanted to bring you a word of encouragement and uh, give the 
praise to God because it's all glory goes to him anyway. Caught the one right off the bat. First cast and now I haven't caught the, another thing. <laughs> well, it almost looks like I've come to the end of the trail. I guess that's the end of the road. All right, I don't know whether I wanna fish anymore or just call it a day. I've caught the one I've walked all the way down through here. I didn't even see another fish. I guess I'm gonna to have to reload. There's about four or five right down in there. I can see them. Got him. Look there. Oh, he got off. Ha! <laughs> he got off. Oh well. <laughs> I had him. <laughs> Found me a honey hole right here. Well, I know where one of the honey holes are now, so we'll have to try that again sometime. All right, let's get on back to the car. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Until next time, this is Saline saying to always remember Matthew 5:13, and y'all stay salty.